this is Valerie with At My Home. You know, we have a smart house, so we have to have a smart car. So today, we're going to take you on a tour of our brand new 2020 Hyundai Santa Fe, which has got all kinds of really cool technology. But before we get started, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel. It's really easy. Just push the button that you see below and make sure you ring the bell so you can find out when we have new videos. All right, so the Hyundai Santa Fe has what they call smart cruise control. And this is great on a road trip like this. We're on our way to Los Angeles right now. And there's a lot of traffic, heavy traffic, a lot of trucks, a lot of cars trying to get in and out. So I've got the cruise control set right now. So right now my car is slowing down itself automatically. And it's decreased our speed by quite a bit. It's still got one car length in front of us, a little bit more than one car length in front of us. Um, to make sure that we're at within a safe st a stopping distance. And I can customize that and I can make it, you know, there's one, two, three, four settings. And now it's speeding me up. And I don't have to touch a thing. I don't have to touch the brake. I don't have to touch the accelerator. It just keeps me going. So if the car does come to a complete stop in traffic, it will get me all the way to a complete stop. And then the car will tell me that when I'm ready to go, I can either uh, step on the gas pedal or I can push resume on the cruise control and it will get me back started again from zero. The other thing that the Hyundai does is it knows if you're not paying attention. So if I take my hands off the wheel, the lane keeping is actually going to keep me in the center lane, but the car is, it knows what's going on and it's going to give me a warning. So one of the reasons we really wanted to upgrade this car was so that we could have access to Apple CarPlay within the car. So let me give you a little bit of a walkthrough of how we use the CarPlay. So right now we've got the map on. This is using Apple Maps. Um, my phone is plugged in down below. There's a, there's a cord right there for us to plug in specifically to use the Apple CarPlay. So this has got the map on right now. If I use this button here, that's going to give me a different display. It's got music. It does have the next turn direction there, and it's got the ETA on the map, which is nice. I'm going to click that again. And here's the main menu for the Apple CarPlay. So we have access to the phone. We can play music from Apple Music, use Apple Maps. We can get text messages, and it'll get notified right through the display. There's a special Hyundai app that has some additional features we'll talk about later. You can listen to podcasts. You can listen to audiobooks. These are some of the other apps that we have access to. We have Google Maps, iHeartRadio, uh, NPR One, Pandora. So we can use these apps that are enabled for CarPlay. And you can even use Waze with Apple CarPlay now, which is great. That's something we've been looking forward to. Another really great feature about Apple CarPlay is the integration with Siri. If I want to send a text message to Mark, for instance, I can just push the button here on the steering wheel and access CarPlay that way to send a text message. So let's try that. Send a message to my husband. What do you want to say? Hi, how are you doing? Your message to Mark Malone says, Hi, how are you doing? Ready to send it? Yes. Okay, it's set. Now getting a text message in Apple CarPlay is really great too, and it's really, um, really easy to do without getting too distracted. If I see I have a message that comes up there, I can just ask Siri to read it to me. Read my text message. Mark Malone said, great to hear. So here's the 360 camera on the Hyundai Santa Fe. So you can see right now we're backing out of the driveway. And uh, here's my car, and here's, oh, somebody's coming by. Didn't beep. Anyway, so here's my car on the 360 view, and this is the, the uh, driveway to back up into. And we can change all the views on here since there's a camera all the way around the car. So we just want to look at the back. There's just the back. Here comes another car. If we want to look at the side over here, we can see what's going on on that side of the car on that side of the car and just in the very back of that back camera. So I like the 360. We'll go back to the 360. This is really handy when you're trying to pull out. You can see I've got little guidelines on my on my bumper to help me figure out which way to go. So we're going to take off. And 
and it turns around, shows me that I'm going the right way. And you notice it automatically switches to the front camera when we started moving forward. And then once you get up to a speed, it turns itself off. This 360 camera is also really great for parking, especially when you have tight parking spots. Pull into this parking spot over here with a curb and show you how, how the 360 camera helps with your parking. So you can see that spot's got a tight curb. So you can see the arrows are guiding me in and I can see how far I am from the curb with my back wheels. So I can turn my wheels and get myself straight and finish getting into the spot. It even shows me exactly how close I am to the curb in front. So you can see I'm nice and tight on that side. I didn't hit the curb, I didn't come anywhere close to it, and I'm parked perfectly. Oh, so the car gave me a caution because someone was in my blind spot when I was getting ready to back up. My car was in reverse, it saw the car coming, and it gave me a notification so I won't hit it. And we can see the heads-up display now. It's got my it's got my speed and it's telling me where to turn. It even gives me how many feet is left until I need to make the turn. Here's another turn coming up here. Now this is a really great feature, this camera that's on the side of the car. I can see when I've got my turn signal on exactly what's next to me on the side of the road. And this is great if there's a lot of traffic, maybe there's a curb or there's some other obstacle, maybe a biker on your side. It's really great to be able to see those with that little camera. The Hyundai comes with its own app and you can do a lot of different things when you're not at your car with the app itself. So I'm gonna walk you through those. Now the Hyundai uh, Blue Link app also has companion watch app where you can do some of the same features and functionality right from your watch and that pairs up automatically with your phone. So one of the first things you can do is you can actually see what the status is of your vehicle. So if you're not sure if you locked your doors or not, you can click this vehicle status and it will tell you right here on the app. And it will say uh, your doors are locked, it'll make sure it tells you your trunk is closed. It also gives you information about your engine, make sure that it's off and that park is on. Uh, it also tells you what the climate control is and what's on and what's off. And it'll remind you if your hood is closed or open. And you can also do remote start. Now this is a great feature. A lot of other cars have this nowadays, but the really thing we really like about the Hyundai app is that it's got these remote start settings you can customize. So you can customize all this based on kind of what season it is, what you want to have on and off when you uh, start your car remotely. And so right now it's, um, well actually it's kind of warm here, but normally it's winter. Uh, so you can change the temperature, how hot you want the car when you get in. You can turn on the front defroster automatically. And then if you have other heated features in your car like we do, like heated seats or a heated steering wheel, you can also toggle those on or off with a remote start. And then when you do that, you go ahead and you push submit. All right, we sent the request. And there it goes. All right, so we, the car started, that was success. I can also stop the car remotely. So I sent the request and now it's off. Now the Blue Link app also has a lot of other neat features. You can request roadside assistance if you have a problem. Uh, you can also do a number of other different remote actions. You can flash your lights, you can honk your horn, in addition to remote unlocking and starting. And there's also a map feature where you can um, find the nearest gas station, you can find the nearest collision repair if you're in an accident, uh, or you can find your car if you lost it somewhere. So. That's it, that's the Hyundai Blue Link app. We hope you enjoyed our video about our new 2020 Hyundai Santa Fe. If you liked our video and you'd like to see more, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel and make sure you ring the bell so that you'll be notified the next time we put up a new video. And for more smart home stories, please visit appmyhome.com. Thank you.